What are your thoughts on implementing organizational change? Any tips for doing it faster and more successfully? Well, that's a great question. The doing it faster part actually scares me a little bit because I think that it's often the case that what we really need to do is find ways to be patient enough and to do it slower. Um, we've known that organizational change is tough for a very, very, very long time. And there's an awful lot that's been written about the steps that are necessary to do change correctly, preparing your case, preparing the followers, moving into execution. So we, we know the steps, but there are things that we continue to do wrong, just as a few examples. We know that individuals resist change. They resist change because, frankly, the status quo is working for them. I mean, the reason someone stays in a job is because they've figured out how to do that job. And if you threaten that knowledge, it's natural for them to be a little bit resistant. And I'm struck by a study that I read about in Fast Company magazine years ago now, where they followed a sample of um, patients with heart disease and asked them to move around more and eat less. That, that if they could lose weight, they'd lengthen their life. And if they couldn't do those things, they were at risk of dying. 90% of the people in that study chose to die rather than to eat less and move around more. If an individual isn't motivated to change when that's what the future looks like, why are they gonna care about a software implementation or a change in a process in an organization, right? So resistance is, is really real and I think often underestimated. We say, oh yeah, they're gonna resist, but we don't really understand why and how deeply. Another uh, issue organizations often have with change is that they don't understand just how much change traffic is going on, right? In most organizations, if you sit down with an employee and say, how many different changes are you trying to participate in now? It's not uncommon to get a number six, eight, 10. How can someone manage all that change? Managers are rewarded for finding things to change and for coming up with interesting business cases as to why a change should be good but we forget to require them to kind of land the change, right? So changes get launched, they don't get landed, and after a period of time, there's an awful lot going on in that environment. People just can't keep up. And then finally, I think leaders overestimate how good their organizations are at change. Many companies just really aren't very good at it. And if you're not good at something, you wanna make sure that you aren't trying to sort of begin with something that's overly complicated. The metaphor of uh, Olympic divers is really a useful one for understanding this. An Olympic diver score is a function of points that are based on the degree of difficulty of the dive and then how well they execute the dive. Leaders are really intrigued with big, complicated dives, but they can't land them. They get a bad score. If they tried a simpler dive and nailed it, they'd actually have a stronger positive impact on their organization but they just can't get around the fact that they're not prepared to do a really complicated dive.